Yo, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another reaction video. Today I'm gonna react to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. First hands-on preview. Now, uh, this game is another asymmetrical game, so we need more of those games. So it's interesting to see what this game gonna bring. It's, it's a three versus four, so it's pretty different. Than, than the other predecessors, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's check it out. Oh my god! Okay, off the bat, ooh. off the bat is brutal as hell, <laughs> of course, because it's, it's, it's a hard game, but it, it, it kind of adapting the classic 1974. Why do they gotta get a shot? Why, why, why's that gotta be the shot? Or horror movie Texas Chainsaw Ooh. Massacre into an asymmetrical multiplayer game might seem odd on the surface, particularly when the team setup isn't the same 4v1 we've become accustomed to with the popular. Yeah, man, what I was about to daylight, say, like, but in off the bat, it kind of they, they kind of move like dead by day, like hairs the way they move a little bit. Instead, the even stranger sounding 4v3 arrangement. It works exceptionally like, well in like practice, the way they move though, and stuff? creating a tactical, oh tense, team-based oh multiplayer experience oh that favors oh brains my. over brawn. Whether you're on the victim team of four trying to escape or the serial-killing family trio trying Damn. to cut them down, Texas Chainsaw Massacre's tweak to the asymmetrical this look crazy. format already plays great, and the 4v3 format is a great match for the movie license it's built around. See, like, it's gonna be interesting because it's it's four versus three. Like, instead of it being like one person, four people versus one, it, you you actually get more killers. That's what makes it. That's what gonna make it crazy. Like, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I, I already like what I'm seeing. Developer publisher Gun Interactive promises more maps for launch Silence? next year, but for this preview oh, session, I played crazy. a half dozen rounds in Texas Chainsaw Massacre's most recognizable location, the rural Texas house the film is set in. Yeah, this is like where the movie set in, the basement, right? And teamwork is encouraged and dare I say vital. There are only a few Bro, ways out of the crazy, basement and just two ways out of the house once you get upstairs. In other words, there are only two ways to win. Yes, only two, because the victims can't kill the family, but instead only stun them, further affecting the oh, balance okay. of power. They can, however, but... slip through narrow gaps in the walls and duck under barbed wire traps. Meanwhile, characters on both sides have... So the, uh, the person that's helping Chainsaw Massacre, the, the Chainsaw, yeah, the, the Chainsaw dude, basically, they basically can't, they, they can't kill. They only can, like, stun them. That's interesting. But I, I thought I saw them do like an execution or something. Can they do executions? Have unique skills. While the cook can listen closely to unstealthy victims and add locks to doors for the family, making it more time consuming for the victims to get through them, Connie, for instance, has a one-time ability to break a lock instantly. This can literally mean the difference between victory and defeat, as in my- Wait, is he talking about like, he's talking about the people that are trying to get away? Final round, I was chasing down Connie as she made for the backyard gate. Meanwhile, the leather face of the franchise is big and not the slightest bit nimble. But he can use his chainsaw to cut through doors as well as destroy cross this looks amazing, bro. exits so that the victims have fewer navigation options. I this looks like so I'll actually play his chainsaw and how that's tied to the power of his attacks. Swing your saw at a victim without revving it, and you'll do a bit of damage. Rev it Let's too high it? for too long, and it'll stall out. But if you catch Wait, the they don't die off that? the rev range, you'll get <laughs> a one-hit kill, complete with a quick and grisly cutscene. Oh, Note that you that can also brutal. turn the chainsaw off in order to move around more stealthily as the big guy. Oh, that's crazy. From first-hand experience, I can tell you that this is immensely satisfying. Also, this is crazy. It while roaming the house allows him to very loudly induce terror into the hearts and minds of the victims. He is my favorite character so far. Finally, the hitchhiker is the slickest and snakiest of the serial killing trio. 
he can Ooh. get through those same small cracks and crevices the victims can, and I made sure to use his agility to whisk myself right to the front yard as the man. So he could kill him. Turning on the gas okay, power generator. They can kill him. Power I think what he was saying is that uh, the, the, the victims can't kill. Well, of course they can't kill. The electrified security system guarding the path to the road. He can this also be so lay much down fun, traps bro, that are like... guaranteed to slow the victims down. Either it's like, by ensnaring them direct. Also, too, like when it when it comes to dead by daylight, a lot of people wants to be killers in the match. So, like having this, like, what will, will make people play with killers more? You know what I mean? The people that like to play with killers more can play with killers more. Actually, or by putting them in spots where there's three killers instead of one, disabling them. All three family members are wise to collect blood from around the house as well as from victims in order to feed Grandpa, the non-playable member of the family, what? who acts as a sort of Sauron-esque all-seeing eye as the blood you feed him levels him up. That's he will occasionally crazy. shout and tag any victim who's moving in the moment he screams. That's wow. And speaking of leveling up, there's a massive and persistent skill tree I didn't get to play with in this one-off demo session, but it promises to allow you to tailor your respective victim and family skills to your liking. I admit I enjoyed playing as the family more than the victims in my initial rounds. I had a blast trying to yeah, outsmart of course, them despite the kill them. That why, that's what, that's no why I want to play as the killer. Work and coordination will pay I know survivors would be fun too. Victim players, like when one of you goes to the top floor of the house and restores power amazing. to the basement exit, allowing their teammates another means of escape. Notably, too, victims are able to hide in dark corners of the house, in bushes outside, they did and good with sneak this, around bro. quietly so as not to make a ton of noise and alert the family. As my developer guide put it, quote, just leaving a door open can hurt you in this game. The sheer number of really? tactics in play between these two starkly contrasted this is tactical, sides tactical. is impressive. More laudable is just how well Texas Chainsaw Massacre plays right now, despite its release date not being until sometime next year. The oh, movie year? license wow. hasn't just been this slapped onto good. this game. Instead, it feels like an excellent pairing, and I can't wait to play more. I can't more wait to play it, bro. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, check out the uncensored gameplay trailer, as well as the game versus film comparison trailer. And All right. Bro, like, I want to say some things real quick. So, I really think this could compete with Dead by Daylight. Even though Dead by Daylight have, like, care, like all kind of killers, I feel like, I feel like Dead by Daylight need to have mechanics like this. Because, like, on Dead by Daylight, all, all you're doing is, like, uh, like, revving the generators and stuff. That's all you're doing on this game. It's like you got different tasks and stuff you can do to like to to figure out how to escape and stuff, which is which is dope. It's it's like it's it's very different. It's a very different asymmetrical game, and I, I feel like it, it can it, it can probably be the be one of the best if they if they do it right, man. So uh, yeah, it's your boy Tell Ray. Hope y'all like the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn post notifications on. If you want more reactions and uh yeah, I'm definitely gonna play this game right here, man. It's your boy Tough Ray, I'm out. Peace.